I want to show y'all some of what I love to do in my spare time when I'm not streaming for hours. Okay, everyone, I want to show you the dollhouse bedroom that I have created. Looks like I'm going to be making a pretty big dollhouse. Well, I'm going to have to if I'm going to include all this stuff. <laughs> okay, let's look at the bed here. Come a little closer, look at the bed. I just love this doll, she's so cute. My daughter got a, for her birthday, she's so pretty to me. But okay, you see the bed here. Let's tell you better I found. Okay, you have the bed here. This blanket I sewed together. It was meant to be on this side. It's meant to be on this side, but um, kind of didn't, wasn't filling it with bubblegum color. So I went on and made it on this side. I like this fabric, it kind of went better. Showing you different colors. Love this fabric, and this is like a, a tool, kind of glitter or glimmer organza. And there are actually like three fabrics within here. There's some felt in between here. Okay. Okay, to give a little extra softness. Um, so I added this on top. I just kind of added to the glam. I made the pillows. I made the pillows myself. This is primarily made of wood. Okay. Let me take this off. Show you more detail. Okay, you can see the headboard that's tufted. I'll put the little like rhinestones. I love these rhinestone rolls. I put that within the tufting. Kind of like that tufted look on a headboard. Okay. And you see the rhinestone trim or the what I added around the like frame of the headboard. The bed is made primarily of wood. Okay, you see. And I cut out foam for this mattress. I'm making this mattress and put over it, made a sheet. <laughs> like of a thin fabric, sheer fabric, to make a sheet for it. Put it back in here. A teddy bear. Nowadays, these girls would be clutching a foam. <laughs> um, yeah, and I had made like a matching nightstand two matching nightstands okay felt this would be a little creative a little tough day on it stones on top. i love those rhinestone rolls they really really help when you want it to have a neater look given trim and then it just adds extra bling extra Sparkle, <laughs> make it look more glamorous. I love this little dog. <laughs> Had this dog for years, but someone just decided to take off its skin off its little fur. Isn't that crazy? Um, <laughs> all right, and this lamp I made. This, you see this material, little glass tube. Okay, basically using a Dixie cup and just adding my own embellishments. Uh, yeah, and I plan on doing videos, hopefully in the near future. I just want a better camera where I'm showing you my process, showing you how I create. Also, I'd like to do some vids on building, crafting, reupholstering. Okay, let me go over to the dresser that I made. I didn't know whether to make a long dresser or a short dresser, so I just made this kind of dresser chest. <laughs> made a little quickie like plant <laughs> out of pipe I mean, it's just something real quick uh, you know to add on top but yeah this dresser I made you can see here has drawers I open and shut okay. gives you some extra storage for Barbie stuff Okay, and check out the desk that I made. Okay, computer desk. It's 
look at this a little closer. Okay, made a little mouse here. <laughs> made a little monitor. Added a screen. A Obviously, this is a Mac computer. And I found this for printing out online. <laughs> for miniature printouts, perhaps for a dollhouse. And this also has dressers that you can open and close. And what's this here? What I got your keypad. I was thinking about making like a PC case or whatever you call it <laughs> to be more realistic and put it in here, but I don't know. Maybe we'll just say the PCs and the monitor. But where would the disc go? Anyways. <laughs> and let me show you this chair that I made. At first, I did not like this chair. Because I felt, in the end, I was like, this doesn't look like a desk chair. This looks more like a chair that you'd see at a salon. Okay, put fabric in there. Actually, now this is able, this can move, like spin around. Okay, it's kind of hard holding this camera. Okay, I made this out of wood, fabric, foam, and all kind of this stuff, and candy containers. It was like an M&M's candy container or something. <laughs> There were like two candy containers that I found. Okay. And initially, I was just going to have it on these little, like these are supposed to be legs and wheels. <laughs> um, but being that I put so much into this chair on top, it was kind of heavy on top, so it wasn't really balanced. So I add these like white discs down here. And I wanted to keep the legs. I, I didn't want to remove these legs. <laughs> so I just kept them. Kind of like this look. I can kind of spin it on these discs. You know, it's easy for spinning. Okay. Let me put the doll back in it. I love these dolls. You know, with the bendable legs, like the made to move doll. I like that. They should make them all like this. See? And finally over here, we have the vanity. This is actually an outfit that I made. Everything but the shoes. Okay. As you can see, it's the same material here that you see on the lamp. <laughs> Top is kind of ill-fitted, but I made it for a doll that was a little bigger, if you know what I'm saying. Okay. Lovely. They got these hands now moving. I decided to make an ottoman chair. I've had this for a while, but I believe it was formerly a like toothbrush holder. It had a little cup inside. So I use this because, you know, metal kind of stable. So I said, why don't I just recycle this? And, you know, I liked how this looked in here. So I decided to sew some fabric, like in a tube, so I could stretch it over this. I put some felt underneath. Okay. Made a top seat. Added like fur on it and made a tufted cushion seat. And we have our vanity here. I'll give you a closer look. And you will see that this also has drawers that can open and shut. And what's this inside? I made a little pick. <laughs> Can't really use it, but made a little comb. <laughs> and I made a little brush. <laughs> Let's see if we can kind of brush a hair. Just want to do some extra. Believe it or not, it's these smaller things that are actually more difficult to make. And I made this 
container attached it to the vanity these are supposed to be lights I do plan on like you know using like uh, uh, what do you call it LED lights you know because I do want to make a lighted dollhouse okay, it has a mirror and I wanted to make a jewelry box at first I was gonna make something a little more detailed like perhaps with drawers but I was like no nah, let me just make something that'll be easy you know to store doll stuff in okay. and this is the perfume tray <laughs> Again, now, I'm going to make videos, hopefully soon, showing you guys how I put my stuff together. Showing you how I build, how I craft. Okay, like this is a tray of, like, pressed powder. Different shades. For your complexion. And these are blushes. <laughs> Made like a lip container. This is supposed to be, like kind of like glass, it's plastic covering it. Set of lipsticks, different colors. This is a nail polish tray. And what's this? It is an eyeshadow palette, okay? And I use paints. I use paints for the blush, the pressed powder, and the eyeshadow. It's kind of difficult for me to pull out trying to hold this camera. <laughs> Here is a an applicator. <laughs> Cause here, my cat, my jealous cat, hear me talking, y'all. Put that back in there. Okay, and it has like a mirror. <laughs> okay, I created this, decided to attach it to the desk once again. Okay, now I made some I made some brushes for you know putting on your powder, blush, and all that. And for this I used some old paint brushes. Okay, add a little stuff to it. Now, this actually wasn't a paintbrush here that I made. And also in here, I made <laughs> some eyeliner sticks. Some sticks of eyeliner. The cat's getting jealous. Meowing outside the door. And I uh, also made some mascara. <laughs> okay, that's the vanity. So this is the dollhouse bedroom in its entirety. Hope you guys like it. And yeah, it's time for me to start making some money doing what I love to do. Even though I've been doing this stuff since I was a child, using cardboard paper, making my own rulers even, because I didn't like the fact that I couldn't have a lot of the toys that I wanted. So I made my own, being that I'm an artist been an artist since birth it's like in my family and my mother definitely encouraged it as an artist herself rest in peace to my mother she would be very pleased and very proud of how far I've came I'm sure also now when it comes to people um, I'm really a sketch artist
I didn't work as much in paint, paint, you know, people. And I realized I'm not the best painter. <laughs> and I tried to do some detail um, with the shading and stuff. I could straight turn it out with pencils, but I say it's a little different with paint, painting. Okay, I don't know what to call this. My daughter wanted this. Like, child, I'm trying to make some money. <laughs> but I'm going to give this to her. I don't know what to name it, though. And this is another painting that I'm working on. But again, I have artist blocks. So I don't know how to complete it. I don't know what to add to this. Ooh, this cat. Let me show y'all this cat real quick. This is a chair that I'm working on. It's a real poster. I want mommy to give him some attention. I always want attention. Because <laughs> I'm always giving it. And you see this cat? Look at the cat. Look at the cat. Being bad. And so, remember I was working on the one doll house. He has been jumping all through here. Knocking on windows and stuff. I am really shocked that this lamp is still intact. It's messed up my staircase. <laughs> I just totally stopped working on this over a year ago, but I'm back now, now that I have more space. I just didn't have space to work, and, and I was in the process of moving, a lot going on. Wasn't really enthused. Got to put in this window, and this was the window that I had made for this kitchen. So glad that the dishwasher and the stove is intact. No handles or anything broken. table chair set that I made. Hold up. Do I see some dirty dishes? <laughs> That's for my grandchild playing up in here. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed what I have shared with you. Appreciate my work. And I'd love to share some more with you. So look out for some more videos perhaps. Uh, another channel hopefully I just want a better camera so as always much love to y'all peace